this video I have a collective craft and stationery haul to share with you. So over the past month or so I haven't done any really big orders from shops like Hey Little Magpie or anything but I have been picking up little bits and making small to medium orders along the way so I thought I would just throw all the footage together to do one big collective haul. As the last time I did this, you guys kind of liked it, so why not do it again? However, I've ended up with more footage than I can reasonably put into one video, so there will be Collective Hall Part 1 and Collective Hall Part 2. So this is, as you probably can see by the title, Part 1, and this features items from Amazon, from a website called craftstash.co.uk, from The Works and The Range. I think that's it. Yes, okay, so let's just get going. I just want to add as well, some of the footage was done when I first had my new filming setup set up and wasn't used to it yet, so it's a little bit out of shot and I think I sound a bit weird in it because I think I was just like concentrating on the new setup and everything, so just to let you know that's going on. So we will start with Amazon. Now, all the items I got from Amazon were all add-on items that I kind of just throw in my basket when I'm buying other stuff and I'm making, you know, boring things that you gotta buy from Amazon, like, I don't know, makeup or whatever. Um, the stuff that you gotta get, and when I'm doing that and it's over £20, I throw in a little add-on item, just a little treat for myself. So all of these were bought at separate times and they just came with other stuff, as I've already implied. So the first thing were these Tim Holtz Ideology Clippings stickers. I've seen these all over the place, lots of people have them by this point. And yes, I just really, really, really wanted them. So they are just little sentiment and phrase and word stickers, just in the sort of Tim Holtz style. But unlike the sort of the chit chat ones and the other ones I can never remember the name of, they are in slightly different colours. There's sort of a craft and a cream and then an almost pink and an ivory. And you've got different fonts and stuff. So those are pretty cool. And they're all different with lots of various phrases. And stuff, and I paid, I think, £3.42 or some random number like that. With Amazon, especially if it's a Prime or add-on item, that prices go up and down so much. So I often have these in my saved items so I can keep an eye on the price and know when a good time to buy is. Because sometimes they put ridiculous prices on these things. But £3.49 I thought was pretty good. So grab those. Then on another occasion, I got these, which are the metallic quotation stickers, and these are, were on Prime for uh, £2.99, I think it was. So I thought that was a really good opportunity to get them. And so these are, as it implies, metallic phrase or sentiment or word stickers and so you either get silver on white and black or gold on white and black every single one is the same i think yeah they all say exactly the same thing they're just as i said different 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 metallic sort of different backing the one thing i will say the silvers are really really nice silver i like it a lot but i'm a mildly disappointed with the gold it's not that gold it's more like a gold that would come out of your printer rather than actual kind of foiled but these the silver are shinier they just work slightly better but the 2 99 I am not particularly bothered and they're still very very pretty so there is those then these next two I got at the same time these are sweet Dixie embossing powders they were two pounds something each uh, so not very expensive at all and I got kettle copper and mint and I'll be very very careful when I open this because obviously I do not want to spill the embossing powder everywhere but there's the kettle copper and then this one is the mint and as you should be able to see the mint has got some glitter in there as well so what I did so you'd be able to see them properly is just do some embossing on here so you can see that's obviously the kettle copper I think it's coming up a lot darker on video than it actually is but it is very very shiny and metallic and pretty I don't know how well it's coming up and then there's the mint one I've heard bad things about embossing powders with glitter in that glitter comes off a bit I think if I were to pick at it quite a lot it might I don't know but at the moment I'm really really loving it I think it's really pretty so there's the uh, embossing powders 
Next, I got some Heidi Swap Colour Shine in Mint. This was on for £4.50-ish, which is a pretty darn good price for colour shine, so I snapped that up. I think at the moment, however, on Amazon, it's like £9, so don't don't buy it for that, that price, because that's ridiculous. But £4.50 was pretty good, so as I said, snapped it up. And as I did with the embossing powders somewhere, I sprayed some on some paper for you. However, this is really, really cheap, cheap, like 70 GSM printer paper. So it has not taken the droplets very well, but you can see the spray there. It is actually a slightly darker green than I had expected, but I don't really mind because I do like green as a color. So I'm wearing a green top right now. But So yes, but that gives you a rough idea what it looks like. Just ignore these bits because the paper clearly can't handle them. Then the next thing I got was some Nuvo crystal drops. Now I've been wanting to try Nuvo drops for a while now and they were quite a good price. They were two pounds something, again, add on items and I just thought it was a good opportunity to try them. For those of you who might not know, Nuvo drops are basically kind of like enamel dots in a bottle so you can squeeze, you squeeze out the liquid in, you can have different dot shapes and sizes, you do little hearts, little stars, or just different size dots, whatever you want, and you wait for them to dry, basically, and you've got enamel dots in a bottle. They take about 12 to 24 hours to dry, but I think it's totally worth it. So I got, what colours are these? This is duck egg blue, and these are glitter drops, these ones in aquatic mist. So I got them, I tried them, and I fell in love with them. They are amazing and I have this really bad habit of when I really 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 like I find something that I really really like I kind of go a bit overboard and get it in all of the colours and that's kind of what I did. So I did some research looking online for some good prices of Nuvo drops and I found a website called craftstash.co.uk and they had these for £1.99 a bottle plus it was either fifth no plus twenty percent off, and they had free shipping over fifteen pound during the month of September. So, yes, I got. So we have white blizzard, and simply white. This one is buttermilk. This one is red berry. This one is raspberry pink. And this one is, what was it? Blue Lagoon, that's a glitter drop. Then we've got Woodland Green, Wedgwood Blue, Neptune Turquoise, and Bright Gold. So, yes. Obviously, this is not all of the colours. They have Nuvo drops in so many colours, it's insane. But these were the, the main ones they had on the Craft Stash website. And... Some of them I probably would not have got if we were not coming close to Christmas. So the Red Berry, the White Blizzard and the Woodland Green I thought would be really good for Christmas coming up because they're quite Christmassy colours. And yes, so to show you what they actually look like on paper, I did a little example for you. So yes, little tester pages, if you will, just to show you what they all look like. So there you go, there's Duck Egg Blue there, Neptune Turquoise, which I smushed a little bit, I was testing to see how long they took to dry and smushed some of them, Wedgwood Blue, Aquatic Mist, Blue Lagoon, Woodland Green, White Blizzard, Simply White, Buttermilk, Bright Gold, Raspberry Pink and Red Berry, which is another one that I smushed. As you can see for most of them, they come out a slightly different colour than they are in the bottle, so for example, the Red Berry looks quite a pink colour, but it is quite a true cherry red kind of colour there, not cherry, post box, pillar box, whatever, red. So yeah, I made these for the video, but they've actually turned out to be really handy when I'm actually using the drops themselves, because I can look at this and see what the most appropriate colour for my layout of my project or what, whatever is going to be. So yes, if you are looking into getting Nuvo drops, already have them, this this has turned out to be really handy, so there we go. And then also from the Craft Stash website, I bumped into these on, on the site and just really like these thickers here. I don't know if they're from a particular collection or anything, or if they're really old, I don't care, but I just think they're really, really lovely sort of cursive, scripty letters or alphas or whatever, and just think they're quite pretty. So I just nabbed these and they were about 2 dollars plus the 20% off, so 
that's pretty darn good. Next, I got a few bits from the work. Just one, two, three, four things. Be impressed at how restrained I was. So first, I got these slogan labels and I'm going to open these up because I haven't yet and I don't know what they look like inside. So we have a load of Hey Yous with the stripy background and the heart on. A bunch of hellos on a minty background with some black. Another minty one that says enjoy it. I love, love, love the uh, scripty font they've used here, the brush script. And then these ones are black with a little uh, brush heart on that say two. So those are really cute and for, I think I, they were a pound, I've lost my thing. One pound, pretty good. And as you can see, there's the ribbon that they were sort of tied up with and there's also a ribbon in there to use. So that's, that's pretty darn good. Then I picked up these little enamel shapes, they call them enamel craft stickers, and I just thought these were super, super adorbs, just because I love the little cameras, and you've got like little photo frames, and the little like geotag things is what I would call them, but there's probably a better name. Diamonds, circles, two little hearts, and oh, no, four little hearts, and just some like little arrow things there, so yeah, they're pretty cute, I like those a lot. Then these little bird stickers embellishment thingies because I freaking love little birdies and some aren't birdies, some have got donuts apparently on, bit weird but fine, but I just thought these were really really cute so grab these. And then I got this botanic garden paper pad, these are some new paper pads they've got in the works, well newish by the time this video is published, it may be slightly later as I said because I'm doing it in dribs and drabs, but newish, uh, there's three or four different designs of paper pad. The other two that they had in store I thought were fine, but I didn't like them that much and I was trying to be good. So if they were a pound, I probably would have got all of them, but for two pound, not so much. Not that that's not a good price, because it is, but you know what I mean. So just to flick through here, there's just some really, really cute designs and stuff. I just think it's really, really nice and quite good for sort of autumn, winter, just, yeah, I think they're pretty darn sweet in there. And I love that kind of style as well. So yeah, there we go. That I think is everything from the works. And then I went to the range. And the reason I went to the range is because I broke my awl. Clear snapped it off its wooden thingy. If you don't know what an awl is, it's A-W-L and it's basically a big fat needle on some sort of handle that you use to, well it's also known as like a craft pick or stuff, like I think jewellery makers using use them to pick up tiny beads, but I use them to poke holes in things for paper stitching and I said, I broke mine. I broke it because I was using it for something it should not be used for. I was trying to make a hole in a glue bottle and it, yeah, anyways. So I went into the range to get a new one and they had a choice of two options. One was £1.50 and in all honestly looked naff as hell and the other one was this one which is the Tim Holtz retractable craft pick which in the past I've been like oh why would you bother but when the other option was £1.50 I was like you know what I'm just gonna go for the good thing because I know it's gonna last me and I know it's worth the money and stuff so it, it was 4 .99. But I just thought it was a much better option than that one that looked like it was gonna break at any second. So I'll just try and get this out. There we go. There we go this is what it looks like. Tim Holtz, Tonic Studios and you just push that down there to have it at what length you wanted. And it's quite sharp I would not press any harder than that so Yes, handy little thing, and now I can do the paper stitching. Then, okay, I'm finding that quite difficult to do. Ah! I did it. But yes, so now I can poke holes in things again. Yay. Then I picked up some more of the A3 white card I used. This is the cardstock I use for loud car. Go away. This is the cardstock I use for everything. I use it for my scrapbook layouts. I use it for everything. Because I use it for my scrapbook layouts, it means that they are not quite 12 by 12. They're like 11. This is about, let me measure it. I've forgotten what it is. 11 and three quarters across, but it's so, and obviously I cut it down that way as well to make it 12 inches that way. But it is so, so, so much cheaper. I cannot emphasize this enough than buying 
12 12 cardstock because they just charge a premium on 12 12 so this is the stuff i buy it's two pound 99 for 25 sheets so that's pretty good so yes 210 gsm it's not perfect for mixed media but it does the job and it's fine so yes i get through it at quite a rapid rate so i got some more and then i didn't mean to get anything else but i just i saw these bits as i was wandering around and i just they're going to be really good for this project I'm working on, the one I mentioned in the Poundland haul. So I thought I would just pick these up. So we just got some craft paper flowers in the lilac and pink. Some butterflies in black and white and grey. And these are puffy stickers, these ones. And then two of these sort of metallic butterfly sticky out, something or other stickers. And all of these were a pound each. And then the last thing, again, for the same project is this Floral Wishes paper pad, one of the Craft Sensation ones. They're always $2.99. They're awesome. I have a lot of these, mostly for craft making rather than craft making, card making rather than scrapbooking. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'll just flick through this fairly quickly. I just, for this project, I wanted everything to sort of match. It's going to in involve a lot of different pieces of paper. It's not just one scrapbook layout or, so, or one card or something. So I wanted something where it would all be a bit matchy matchy and a bit similar and stuff. Some of them I might not, don't match as well like this one. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out when the time comes. But just lots of pretty florals and stuff like that. So that is what looks like and that yes is everything I got from the range then on another trip to the range which you can tell it was a different trip because my nails have changed and they're also super chipped but never mind now yes so those of you who know me or um, saw my video on the trim craft bloggers event back in August might be like why in the hell are you buying Christmas stuff? Because if you don't know, I went to the Trim Craft Bloggers event in the beginning of August where they released their Christmas ranges and they very kindly gave all the attendees a big old Santa sack full of all of their Christmas ranges. And so I really didn't, quote, need anything for Christmas, but there was just a couple of bits that I wanted that, you know, wasn't in the in the bag or a slightly different version or whatever so I've only got a few bits it's not that bad so starting with this this is the Dovecraft premium time to sparkle 1212 paper pad and they gave us the 66 paper pad in our um goodie bags but I really really wanted the 1212 I'm just obsessed with this collection it's just super super i'm really bad at doing this beautiful and just yeah so i just quickly flick through this it was also on sale and my ad for seven pound rather than 12 maybe i don't know but yes so that that helped so this is 36 sheets three sheets of 12 designs 150 gsm cardstock and there's foil and glitter in here where they go the four glitter two foil so there's like this page that's got um a sample of each each paper which this would be good for something I can't think right now but it will be then we have the gorgeous glittery reindeer two three of those beautiful glittery snowflakes on black and it's just so like modern and classy and oh I love it so there's the foil little arrows then there's Merry Christmas with gold and black and a sort of uh, be a lighter gold, I suppose, is the way of describing that. Then there's the antlers on black. Some more beautiful snowflakes there, three of those. Then the lovely gold Christmas tree on the black. I just... Mm, it's just so gorgeous. There's three of those. Then this lovely stripey one. And this one has got the glitter on. You probably hear the difference there. Then a lovely sort of tartany check, whatever you want to call it, pattern. Then woohoohoo, just so pretty foiling. And this might be the last. No, it's the second to last. So there's this one with a different pattern with the reindeer. And there's holly and little birds and oh i love it it's gorgeous and last is this sort of snow snowfall one it's like snow falling at night but gold and it's just 
It's just, just so pretty. I love it so much. So yes, even though I already had it in 6x6, I really, really wanted the 1212. So there it is. And then to go with that, just because again, it wasn't in the goodie bag and I, I didn't even see these, I don't think, at the event. And I just saw them at the range and I really wanted them. They're kind of like a kind of thicker esque things big old chipboard stickers um and they just have various various beautiful things on and they're on sale as well so bonus and you've just got have a very merry christmas peace love and joy christmas kisses noel there's a little reindeer and there's stuff on that side as well so just yes really really wanted it so <laughs> There we go. And then just because I'm sort of lacking in sentiments for my cards and stuff, you know, just like toppers, whatever you want to call them, to put on the card that says Merry Crimbo or Happy whatever, I got these and they were a pound, so very handy. Just say Merry Christmas. Very nice. Big old thick stickers. And they, oh, look, they come with their own adhesive thingy on there as well. So that's a bonus. And then the last officially Christmas thing is this. And I have nothing that matches this at all. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I just thought it was really, really cute. I don't usually go for cute, but this is really cute. I just, there's all the little nativity scenes and there's sheep where their, where their wool is, is glittery. Look, glittery sheep. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. And again, only a pound, so what the hey. Then the next two items could be Christmas, but not necessarily. So I got this deer stamp and this deer is very similar to the one in the time to sparkle paper pad so i thought I'd do some stamping do some gold embossing might be some nice and some crimbo cards so yes but can also use it for other times in the year as well so not necessarily christmas and a pound good old dovecraft clear stamps always a pound then these simply creative shaped gems the 280 tiny 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 little stars you can see those there. I am mildly upset that there wasn't gold ones. I don't know if it's that my the range doesn't stock them or if they're coming out later or if they just don't exist. I don't know, but I really want some gold ones. So I gotta look, keep a look out for those, but yes, also a pound. And the last thing, which is not exciting whatsoever, is this big old block of foam. I have been using, where are they? These little things to do with my phone backing on scrapbook layouts and cards and everything and I'm nearly done with them and I'm so so looking forward to being done with them because when you're doing something this big and you've got to put a bajillion of these on it's just a pain so I've got this ready for when I've used them up so yay and it was two maybe three pound for this big old wodge so that's not too bad and it'll hopefully keep me going for a while Right then, that was the end of Collective Hall Part 1, and look out for Part 2. Part 2 will feature items from Etsy, from Aliexpress, from Poundland, and from bits of stationery, and I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, TK Maxx. TK Maxx, yes. So, yes, look out for that. I'm just waiting on one item from Aliexpress to film that one thing and then it'll, the video will be ready to go. So I will link it here when it's ready or put a card up or whatever. So yes, as I said, look out. But for now, thank you so much for watching and yeah, catch you all soon. Bye bye.